Well, there you go. <coughs> okay. This is um, hopefully uh, not a very long video. Um, this is based on an observation I got made um, from Israel to Crete. So I've kind of messed around with um, um, some of the filters. I'm on my older computer, so uh, the clarity is not so brilliant. But Taboo Conspiracy um, um, highlighted this man's uh, observation in a video of his uh, with the man's uh, video linked in his description. So I will link to Bull Conspiracy's video with this and the man's link to his channel is in that video. So <clears throat> what I'm doing, going to do here is I'm going to show what the Globe Earth's uh, response has to be. Right? I'm going to show their response to this. Right? So he's in Israel and this is Crete. Now I'm not going to go through all the stuff that's in Taboo Conspiracy's video or the, or the, the guy's video. Um, I'm going to leave that in that video. You can watch that and watch the observation and all the details of the observation. <coughs> this here is Crete. He's in Israel. So that means he's viewing Crete uh, 616 miles away. So I... I did another one here, so you can see this here is Crete, and this is not the most clear, but you'll see in, in Taboo Conspiracy's uh, uh, video, uh, he shows the guy's video, and he shows how this seems to definitely be Crete. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the mats. Right? I just filtered this, this is not filtered very good because of the, the resolution of the screen, but the main thing is that's the sun behind Crete, right? There's an oil rig out, um, I'd be interested to see how far that is. But that's an oil rig out from the shore, and this is Crete with the sun behind it. So, as I said, it's all there, he's showing the sun calc where the sun is behind Crete, blah, blah, blah. So, <clears throat> I'm going to show the globe response. So, let's do the globe response. So, 616 miles squared by right, 616, right, equals 379. Four, five, six. Like this will make sense in a minute, right? Now, what I must do is I must multiply that by two, six, four, o, right? Equals that, and then I must <coughs> divide that by the observer height, which is one hundred and thirty-three feet, right? Which gives us this. So this gives us a radius of. <coughs> Um, a radius of 7,532,058, right? This will make sense in a minute. Well, it won't make sense, but it'll make sense as in why the maths are where they are, right? So, what we need to do now is find out how much over 6 or they need to claim for this observation. So, what we need to do now is divide this by their 3959 radius, Right, which gives us 19, uh, 1,902. So their radius divides into the radius that they of the uh, the apparent their uh, effective radius, right, for their over six r, uh, 1,902 times. Now we have to to find out how much over six r it is. We need to multiply that by six. Right, so multiply this by six equals. 11,415 over 6 R. So they need to claim, right, for their only response to this, their only response can be an over 6 R response. There is no other response for them. This is it, right? So they need to claim 11, that, they, that there is an 11,415 over 6 R changing of the curvature of their globe for this gentleman in Israel on this day, right? So he is able to see Crete, right? Above what they would claim to be an horizon, right? Above an horizon, right? right? So basically Crete should be, I think it's worked out as Crete is 39, uh, the highest point in Crete, I think is 39 miles below their geometric horizon, right? And if you work it out just from uh, the base of Crete is something like 45, I don't know what it is, it's 40, so 42 miles or something below. So it's between 39 and 42 miles 
is what creep would be below their geometric horizon. So that means to, to be able to explain this, right? Now this is shown in the video how it's not clouds, it's actually creep, right? To be able to explain this, um, our opponents need to claim that there's 11,415 over 6R, right, after happening. And what that is, is not refraction like, like Snell's law or anything like that. It's not refraction. It's a mathematical thing that they need to use constantly. Because they are, there is no such thing as a geometric horizon, even within their model. It's only in the maths. Every horizon has to be refracted according to them for their model. Now, you can't, can't refract their horizon. It's already an optical effect. How do you refract an optical effect? Refraction is an optical effect. You can't optical effect an optical effect. That's just stupid. But anyway, that's who we're dealing with. Right? And this is what they have to claim, right? 11,415 over 6 all. So to give a visual of what that is, I done up a GeoGebra <coughs> uh, <coughs> uh, bit. So this is their globe, right? 3959 radius and 24,856 mile uh, circumference, right? Now, <coughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this slightly, the corner slightly, just so you can still see it, right? You can still see the globe, right? And now I'm gonna show you the, so the effective radius, or sorry, effective circumference they need to claim using 11,415 over 6R to be able to uh, give some explanation of how that man can see Crete 616 miles away in Israel. Okay, so here we go. That's the globe. Now remember, that's the slope, that's the actual size of the globe. And now I'm showing, right? I'm going to show you just how big their effective circumference needs to be claimed to be, right? Here we go, still going, still going. The globe is gone, it's a tiny little dot now at the moment, right? Now, <coughs> now this is compared, there's the dot of the globe somewhere in there. This is the effective circumference they need to claim, right? Now, I'm just going to click here to get rid of that, and now I'm going to go in and show, right? Because I made an arc length that's 24,000, as you can see on screen, right? Right, there you go, right? This arc length here, this little blue arc length, right? 24,855.8, I, I, I just was so small, I just, it should be 24,856, so it's 0.2 down, right? Whatever, it's only 0.2, it's grand. It doesn't matter if I make it that tiny little bit more, it won't change the effect, right? Here is the circumference of their, their effective circumference. It's 47,325,322 right, of an effective circumference. That's the effective circumference they need to claim. And this much of it is what they're claiming as their globe out. So their globe out is basically almost, it can never actually be, no matter how much over 6 already had, they can never actually be horizontal. But it, almost is a is a straight line <laughs> right so that's what they must claim to explain how that man in israel can see crete 616 miles away that is what you must believe if you're on the globe thanks for watching